Hi guys, so I wanted to do a really quick review today. Um, I've been using Nelly's All Natural Laundry Soda for um, a few months now, and I really love it. But if I'm on Amazon, this always pops up. Molly Suds. So I kind of wanted to just give it a test today and I have some um, stained laundry that I'm just gonna kind of throw it under the bus and see what happens so oh my gosh that's pepperminty Woo! It smells good it's just a little bit more stronger than what I was expecting so with Molly's sides it says it's ultra concentrated laundry powder formulated with earth derived ingredients, all of the power, none of the risk. No fragrances and dyes, no formaldehyde, no petrochemicals, no phosphates or 1,4 dioxane, no optical brighteners, no non-phenyl ethyl, whatever. I can't say these words. These words are ridiculous. Um, I also really liked the story about this. This is, um, Molly says was inspired by the loss of the founder's um, daughter. Her name is Monica, I believe, and the founder of Molly Suds. Her daughter was a stillborn, which is heartbreaking um, to even, even fathom that. So, so Monica um, did a whole bunch of research into stillbirths and miscarriages and found that so many chemicals are passed through the umbilical to the babies and through mother's um, breast milk if they nurse. So it, she made it her mission to create a safe and effective alternative to conventional laundry detergent and that's how Molly Suds came to be. Excuse my puppy dogs. Um, Nellie's I think is has a pretty good rating on the EWG, I think it's Environmental Working Group website, I think it's a B. Um, Molly Suds is rated A which is the highest. The thing that I think has held me back from using this for as long as, um, as it has is the fact that there are no surfactants in this, which I just, like, it kind of blows my mind. Like, how is this supposed to clean? How is something with no surfactants supposed to clean your clothes and get everything clean? Well, I want to just test it out because I keep going back and forth. Do I want to, um, order one of the big refill buckets from HSN and get it over with, or of Nelly's, or is there something better out there? So before I feel comfortable with doing that, I thought, well, I better give this a shot and see what happens. So I'm going to show you the um, stained laundry that I have, and I'm gonna do a load, and we're gonna see what happens. So Okay, yeah. I just realized, um, before I wanna show you the stained um, clothing, I do wanna go over the ingredients. So, the ingredients reads, proprietary blend of sodium carbonate sourced from the Green River Basin in Wyoming, sodium bicarbonate, magnesium sulfate, maris sol, unrefined sea sol, and organic peppermint oil for scent. So this, I would say, is not necessarily considered unscented, but from what I'm understanding from the reviews on Amazon is the clothing doesn't really have a peppermint scent when it comes out. Um, there is an unscented version, but I thought, you know, just for curiosity's sake, and I love the smell of peppermint, I thought I would give it a try. Um, this says, for directions, standard and old washers that won't die, add one scoop or one tablespoon as the machine fills with water and then add laundry. HE machines add powder directly to your washer tub, then add laundry. Heavily soiled or extra large loads, we recommend using an an extra half scoop plus warm water for best results and choose the longest wash cycle. Dry using wool dryer balls, which I have. Um, add our whitener to stained laundry and whites for an added boost. Hard water, add a third cup distilled white vinegar to the wash or fabric softener cup and prepare to be amazed. Stains, pre-treat stains with diluted natural dish soap or are all sport in a sprayer. Launder, repeat if still visible, don't dry stain laundry. The stain will be set forever, which I don't necessarily agree with. Um, so yeah, I don't know, like I said, I'm anxious to give it a try and see how it works. 
Um, the reason I like it so much is because it, it has so few of ingredients. Um, I love the fresh smell of the peppermint. So we'll see. I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see the stains on the clothing. Goodness gracious. But I will try my best. Okay, so shirt. on this shirt, this is a washed shirt. I got ketchup on it and I did pre-treat it and I washed it in Finelli's and I don't know if you can see that. It's very faint um, ketchup. Then this shirt, I was... Um, getting topsoil with my husband last night and I got some dirt on it. I did not pre-treat this, it's dirt, so I figured, you know, we'll leave that go. Um, Alex, our son, was wearing a white t-shirt and got gunk on it. Um, not sure exactly what that is, maybe fruit punch. And looks like maybe Dorito, because he never uses napkins. And then on his Jobok for karate, he got ketchup. I pre-treated these stains too. Um, and then the bad one was on here, which I feel like my pre-treating was probably better than necessary because I can't even see that spot. And then on my jeans, I know that I got some dirt on them too, but now I can't see it. Oh, it's a tiny little speck. I don't know if you can see that right there. So I'm not pre-treating those. I know that's not really, I don't know, that much of a challenge, but that's what I've got right now. And honestly, I think what I'm going to do, I know this is kind of crazy. Maybe I'll put it in an inconspicuous spot is I am going to maybe put a little bit of ketchup <clears throat> on this. Sure. Okay. So as you can see, I still have the dirty spots on this shirt and I have a little bit of fresh ketchup and I'm rubbing it in. Oh God. Oh, I forgot to pre-treat. So we'll see how it does. Okay. I am feeling super rebellious. So instead of separating this, I am throwing all this laundry and at the same time, which is not a lot. So I'm kind of confused. I don't know if I want to do a full scoop of the Molly Suds because it's not really that much of a normal load. Maybe I'll just do half. So this is a tablespoon and it looks like, oh, and it has little measurings, five milliliters. Well, I'll do a little bit more than five milliliters. And this that's different from what I do with the Nellies is it says not to put it in the dispenser and just to throw it in the tub of your washer. So there it goes. And I'm throwing my clothes in. Goodness gracious, very rebellious today. And I've had I have washed these things before, so I'm not too concerned about colors bleeding. Alright, I'm gonna do normal. I'm not gonna do warm, I'm just gonna do the echo warm. And we're just gonna do normal. Just to see, because I really am interested and curious as to how powerful Molly Suds is. So I will check in with you guys when it's over. Okay, so finished the laundry and I have mixed um, feelings. So Alex's t-shirt came out pretty clean. Um, pretty much all of the stain, maybe just a faint little remnant. The dough box um, came out pretty clean. It got all the ketchup out of that. My old stain, maybe I have to retract what I said about not agreeing with drying, setting in stains, maybe a little bit better. Um, that part is very faint, but I can still make it out. I don't really think you guys probably can. The thing that upsets me, and I didn't see it, is the ketchup stain that I pre-treated did not come out all the way and that I feel like is pretty noticeable still. Um, the dirt stain on my jeans came out which I kind of figured it would and then my purple shirt all the dirt and the fresh ketchup that I put on the shirt um, washed out. The only thing I will say that I really like about this detergent is the clothing is so soft 
Um, it's amazing how soft everything came out, but I did a load of towels. I did a load of towels um, after I did this load just to see um, how those would come out. And they were my our pool towels. And I do have to say that when I took the towels out of the wash and put them in the dryer, they smell pretty much exactly the same as they did when I put them in the wash. So I like Molly Suds and I do think it cleans pretty good, but I think this has pretty much um, cinched it for me. I think that Nelly's is definitely what I'm going to be using going forward. Um, I can't return the Molly Suds. The package that I got off of Amazon is not returnable, so I'll just keep it and I'll probably use it for lightly soiled loads or maybe um, our blankets or something. So, like I said, I do like it. Um, I would say Charlie's is probably even a little bit higher ranking than the Molly's, only because Charlie's soap, I feel like, it has better stain fighting properties. And then Nelly's is definitely my top because of its clean rinsing ability. And it, I just feel like that cleans the best. So, it's a shame though, because I really do like the Molly's peppermint smell. Um, even the laundry room, while the wash was... Um, running I could smell a faint peppermint smell and it was really just I don't know refreshing so anyways that's my review for Molly Suds and if you have any questions just comment below or email me at doriandosusanna at gmail.com thanks bye